จะจบตอนแรกอาจจะเป็นสั้นอาจจะมาพูดอยู่กับนี่ก็มีน่าสงสารน่าจะเสียดีสบายเลยแต่มาปีข้างองค์การไม่ต้องมีอันดับเจียนกันเลยที่น่าสนใจสำหรับจุลินและที่องค์การสำคัญแต่ก็บางทุยเยอะแค่ไหนก็มีทุยต่อเดือนนกพุ่งหรือออกจากต้นตั้งไปเรื่อยแต่ทีนี้เราบอกว่าคนลงรายการได้ยินจะได้มาอะไรนะคือคำพูดที่มาจากคนที่อยู่อิสราเอลอาจจะสเปนเวสต์แซงต์ตัวนั้นกว่าจะมาที่มาทองมาเป็นสิทธิ์ดูเลี้ยงมาดาวเลี้ยงมาบล็อกมาต่างๆแล้วก็สมโตดีเด็กแล้วก็เยอะค่ะจีบประชาชนสำคัญแต่การกวางตัวสว่างกุ้งไอ้ตามสองนังสีนี่ก็ได้เพราะของจริงมาตั้งนาปีบอทีนั้นจะไปมาจุดจุดเดียวนี่ก็จอดมาดูดูในสมองผมเจ็บตัวจะได้สว่างกุ้งอีกหนึ่งเดือนจากการตายของคนที่ไม่มีวันตายของคนที่ไม่มีวันตายของคนที่ไม่มีวันตายของคนที่ไม่มีวันตายของคนที่ไม่มีวันตายของคนที่ไ
had to think and talk to each other in a different way than what they had been allowed to do in the previous 20 years or more. The Cambodian people needed to develop their own vision of democracy and civic identity. Cambodians needed to find the words and ideas that would express their demands and political values. <laughs> After living through so many decades where a person would be killed for their political opinions, free elections and true democracy would take years to develop. Untak did not create a flawless democracy. But this small group of human rights officers did one thing that would make a lasting difference. They translated the ICCPR, the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, into the Khmer language. They then went out of the capital city and into the towns and villages and spoke to the people and gave them this document, the ICCPR, this International Human Rights Treaty, written in their own language. And in doing so, they were handing to the war-weary Cambodian people an idea. The idea of civil and political rights. The idea is this. That your government is not doing you a favor when it doesn't kill you or throw you in jail without trial. It is not granting you a concession or bestowing a privilege by allowing you to gather in public and express your opinions and demands. It is not being generous when it builds schools, roads, and medical centers and pays its public servants a livable wage. People should never have to beg their government for these things. People should never have to plead for their health, for their land, for their freedom. The ICCPR embodies an idea that these things are your right, to which your government has an obligation to respect, protect, and fulfill. Your government owes you a decent society and the rule of law, and you have a right to expect it and demand it and change your government if it does not provide it. What I have seen in the past 12 years that I have been working in Cambodia is that the people of Cambodia have taken on this idea of their rights and the government's obligation to guarantee security and freedom and they have made the language of human rights their own. It has been championed by heroes like Tabvani, Kamle, Kemsoka and many others and organizations like Likado, CCHR, and APO. Regular Cambodians are gathering in the streets now by the thousands, using the language and the power of freedom of expression, freedom of assembly, freedom to form unions, and are demanding their right to a fair trial by independent and impartial tribunal that won't be bought by the government for its own political gain. The right to the presumption of innocence, the right to choose their own government in free and fair elections. This is now the political culture of the Cambodian people. And nowhere was this demonstrated more clearly than in the 2013 elections. That active engagement in the democratic process forms the political identity of Cambodia and represents the vision owned by the people, being voiced by the people. And this vision will only become a reality if it continues to be demanded by the people of Cambodia. Now, this includes our friends and family in Cambodia, and it also means you, the Cambodians living here and living all over the world. You have an extremely important role to play. What Cambodians need right now more than ever is for you to be citizens, democratic citizens. You must think very hard and very clearly about what kind of country you want Cambodia to be. A country maybe where every child gets a decent education, where the poor receive welfare, where sick people can get the care they need without having to leave the country, where roads are safe to drive on, 
where your legal rights are protected by the courts and where those in power are held accountable for their actions. You must never stop watching what one cent is doing with your money because government money is your money. You must always notice what the government is failing to achieve by failing to provide social security, failing to protect Cambodian natural resources, failing to redistribute wealth, failing to protect the Cambodian people from poverty and ill health, failing to invest in infrastructure and human resources. You must point out every wrong, exhausting as it may be, and bring each and every injustice to the attention of those around you through conversation, through Facebook, through Instagram. Social media is a powerful instrument of change, and I'm sure that even more Cambodians read Facebook than they did the Cambodia Daily. You must keep seeing, keep talking, and keep demanding your rights. Do not become complacent, never accept the standard of living that the Cambodian government thinks is okay for its people. You, here in Australia, have a special role to play in keeping democracy alive in Cambodia because you live in a society with a strong democratic tradition and observant of the rule of law. You know what an acceptable standard of living, of government, and of justice is. There is no reason, no reason, why all Cambodians in Cambodia should not live like you live here in Melbourne. You must remember the beginnings of democracy in the Kingdom of Cambodia and those people in the towns and villages who first got hold of the Khmer language version of the ICCPR. These people were the rich soil in which the seeds of democracy were planted. Cambodia's experience in 2013 showed the world that those seeds are now trees heavy with the fruits of democracy and human rights. Let 2018 be the year that the fruits of democracy become ripe for the picking and available to satisfy the people's hunger for the country they dream of and deserve. ส่งออกกลุ่มกัญญาอิสระคือเอ่อกลุ่มปัจจุบันเลิกลาในจุบันจุนชาในช่วงปกติมีการลงบ้านก็โครงการสําคัญเอ่อปองปราณเอ่อ